Hello, this is a tutorial for uh, exam two problems. And we'll be dealing with uh, uh, primarily the first two problems in the beginning of this. So this is the Southwestern University um, uh, survey data, the, the, the um, um, uh, numerical data. And here's our assignment. Create Pareto chart to analyze data of complaints. So we're going to do that, and I have some step-by-step -step, uh, process for that. Insert two columns to the left of column C. So we're going to go in here to column C and um, highlight two of them, um, A and B. Hit Insert, Entire Column, and that gives us two columns to the left. And then I'm going to label the first one. Um, uh, C to F and the second percent uh, C to F and in all of these I'd like for these to be uh, centered so there we go so now next is in the column you labeled C to F sum the grade C, C to F so I go over here and say equals um, sum and that would be G3 to I3 and so that's the sum of uh, 45 plus 5 plus 5 is 55 and then I'll copy that and I'm good there I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and calculate a sum for this but y'all need so sum uh, C3 3 to C12 and there's my there's my sum and then here I'm going to calculate a cumulative percent so I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna calculate the, the percent for the first one and then on the uh, subsequent rows I'll be um, uh, adding the percent to the row, um, row immediately above it so this equals um, C3 divided by uh, C uh, and I'm going um, C13 and so that's the the um, decimal fraction I'll change the format a little bit later so to get a cumulative percent I'll, I'll take the percent of the existing row so that is um, and I add it to the one above so the cell above so I'll take equals um, D3 plus um, C4 divided by uh, C dollar 13 and I want it to refer to that same cell every time when I copy this and so I copy to here end up with 100% that's right uh, let's change the, the format here and let's see and let's just get it over to two decimal places actually let's just go ahead and say it's percent we'll click the percent there and and so there's a cumulative percent and just to pretty this up a little bit we don't need all this space so let's let's um, shrink this up a little bit all right so um, I have done uh, these and now I need to create a Pareto chart and to do that on Pareto chart you have to have a um, a frequency um, column and then you need a cum percent column and I have that and so let's just um, uh, highlight that hit insert I go over to recommended charts recommended charts and I, I scroll down a ways and there's my Pareto chart okay uh, I don't ever want you to leave chart title on there so let's call this, um, what did I say call it? I think I said, I told you, uh, create a Pareto chart of cum, uh, well, let's just say Pareto chart of SW complaints. And then, and then finally, I ask you to comment on areas of focus. Now we could look at 80% which would come here and we get like half of them 
But these first three, there's a pretty big drop off, about a 20 percentage point drop off, um, pretty close uh, from here to here. So let's just say, what, you know, how, what percent do we get? Uh, you know, we're we're 55 percent or so. Um, you know, the first three, no, the first three actually gives us 35 percent. Um, Okay, first three gives us 35 percent, and so we by uh, I would focus on focus on the uh, parking for traffic and seating as a first step. So based on my Pareto chart, so that's um. A real quick overview, creating a Pareto chart and commenting on focus. Thanks.